I'm over here, I logged into my check systems and check systems is causing a lot of problems for a lot of people lately. People think that check systems is only for banks. Sorry, it's not. Credit unions, no. Check systems has started adding loan information, personal information for loans, lines of credits for loans, and payday advances. Yes, payday advances, loans, lines of credits are now appearing on check systems. They appeared on my report, and I uh, pulled recently a 15-page report of mine. Now, I'm going to go through some of these menu items, and yes, I have gotten inquiries off my report. I also got negative items off my check systems report. So, let's go through this together, okay? I logged into my report. Now, when you go to uh, request reports over here, there's a consumer disclosure that is going to be the 14 or 15 pages, depending on how many entries you have on your record. Then when you click on that, what's going to happen is you're going to go down here to the correspondence section, and then you can click on view all correspondence. You can see my recent correspondence was from 8, 10, 2023, 20, just a few days ago. And I got a reference number and everything. So I've been making these disputes and correspondences are now appearing not by mail. That'll take forever. Snail mail, postal mail, that'll take forever. You want electronic delivery. And yes, there is an electronic delivery option now. Now, the next thing. There's a score system, okay? It starts at 100 and it goes to 899. Obviously, the higher, the better. In order to get your score, it's usually one-page correspondence, you go over here to where it says Consumer Score Report. It'll take anywhere between an hour to 24 hours, and it'll generate, and it'll go down to the correspondence section. Next, Security Freeze. If I don't want check systems to be accessed by credit unions, loan application centers, banks, I can and did put a security freeze. All you gotta do is click on place a freeze. You'll answer some questions about your history, your financial history. Then it'll ask you to create a pin. You create a pin, nothing has to go through the mail anymore. You create a pin, it'll automatically set the pin for you. Once it's set, then you can manage your security freeze by lifting the freeze, placing the freeze on your profile again, and you can, of course, change your PIN. Now, dispute section. They're lying to you, okay? If you click on dispute section over here, it'll actually uh, try to load something, and it'll say, hey, are you guys ready to dispute? Well, when you click continue, what will happen 100% of the time is it'll actually say, sorry, you know, we can't process your dispute and call the number. Now, go ahead and call this number, 1-800-428-9623, and go through the prompts, and you'll actually be able to talk to a live person. And, of course, they outsource everything, so the live person will be in India or Pakistan or Philippines. It's a pain because of the English language barrier, okay, heavy accents, and they're going to ask you to repeat yourself many times. But over the phone, you can dispute negative information. So once you pull your reports, and the reports will be in the correspondence section, you can then talk to those outsourced employees, and you can go line by line, your inquiry section, unauthorized inquiries. What about things that are on your report that are factually inaccurate. You can dispute those as well. It takes 30 days, and if they don't respond, it gets deleted. Love you guys.